enjoy it just the same. So we'll go with that. Sounds like a thing to do, for sure. Also, you know what I forgot to do? Hold on, I'm going to restart the yog. Hold on. What I want to do is set up my controller because... Yeah, it's actually... The yog is weird keyboard controls that I don't quite get. So let's set up my little controller here. Why not? Bam! It is in now. Do Skype yog with me? Uh, no, I don't think so, guys. It's fun a way to watch for two minutes a day, though. Fun. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, okay. Demented care. See you later, man. All right, let's uh, reload the yog. Now, where is it? The yog. If I can find it. There it is. Bam. There. It's a beautiful yog. Hey, I like Oregon Trail 2, Tostris. Don't diss Oregon Trail 2. Oregon Trail 2 is a classic game, and I like it. And I do enjoy our Oregon Adventures, which why I will confirm Oregon Trail 2 for the Monday stream. I don't know what Skype Yog even means. I'm being yellow today, Rissixu. Yellow is the killer nacho. So sorry, but... Uh, would you kindly join either red, blue, or green? I will take control of Team Yellow for today. That's what I used to do early on in my Yogg streams. Then it got a little more popular, so I decided to open up for the fourth team. I want to play today. So, Zixu, I, uh, sorry, but can't be yellow. Anyway, let's just dive in. I, I don't think I need really an explanation for the Yogg anymore. You guys all know it by now. What does Skype Yogg even mean, Mazamaza? Maza? Regardless, let's go. Alright, the Yogg will be here in six weeks. And no one expects it, not one of us. We keep living our lives, week by week, unaware. Alright, Team Blue. Forest, Arena, Alchemy Tower, Gardens, Palace, Tavern, Hospital, or the Slums. As usual, you should probably try to, um... Discuss with your team ahead of time. There is a stream delay, as most of you know. So, uh, yeah. Blue, you have the choice. Chat with the person on Skype. Usually teammate. There's no teammate in this game. What's up, kitty? The kitty just meowed. Very cute. Waiting to steal shit? I, I guess. You know, I could get Dr. Doom in here, and he could play Yellow. Wanna play Yogg again on stream? And be Team Yellow? I would definitely be open to that if Dr. Doom wants to be on the stream, but, uh... Looks like, uh... Alright. Well, I saw Eligio first. So, we're gonna go to the hospital. If anyone else... Blue Pigeon... Sorry I did not, you were second, but you can choose to either clean the lab or tend to the patients if you would like to. You want to do it? Well, I, I'm very careful about who I add on Skype, so... Probably be somebody who I already have on Skype, like a real-life friend, like Dr. Doom. Dear Lord, hi oh, Kitty, oh, gosh darn, Kitty. Kitty just wants to be in my lap, so... Say hello to Da Vinci, he's so cute. Alright, Team Blue, what are you guys doing, man? Alright, so I'll tend to the patients, since I uh, haven't seen Blue Pigeon respond again. Anyway, let's send to the patients here. And, uh, yeah. You spend the week diagnosing and, uh, tending to the sick. You get two mind and earn one wealth. Yes, Kitty. Uh, <sighs> Kitty. Kitty is very... Kitty does not like me streaming, because I can't pay attention to Kitty. One day, the bloodletting leeches somehow escape from their containers. Leeches start flooding into the hallway. There are people screaming everywhere as the leeches slither towards them. Somebody do something, yells one of the doctors. Do you want to uh, zap the leeches with magic, or uh, use it yourself as bait, Team Blue? Praise Kitty. This is Da Vinci. He's a very smart kitty. You know, the uh, the famous person from history, Da Vinci, was actually named after my cat, not the other way around. It's a very uh, common misconception. So there's that. Kitty. Let's see if I can lower the cam so you can see him. Uh, kind of. You can kind of see his butt. There you go. What do you do, Blue? 
Do you want to zap the leech with magic or use yourself as bait? Do Skype Yogg with somebody. Well, I can't, so there. That's not happening. Sorry, Maza Maza. Bait? Alright, looks like you guys are going to be, uh, bait. You start taunting the leeches to leave them back into their containers. The leeches swarm all over you. You are subject to a vicious series of bites before the leeches get bored and take off. You lose two physique. The leeches make their way to the hospital and end up infecting all the nearby waterbeds. Oops. Okay, Team Green, you're a go. Well, that's why I said you should really think about your moves before they happen. Okay, Team Green. It's all up to you. Hey, what's up? Ah, oh, that little Da Vinci. He's so cute. Aww. Kitty is very cute. My kitty. Tavern and get wrecked, says Fulham. We're doomed. Clearly. Alright, I'll go with that, since I don't see anyone else on Team Green really having opinion. You get the, uh, you spend the entire week getting wasted. You get two charm and one physique. One day, an abrupt new drinking contest is held. Do you want to enter or spectate in this, uh, drinking contest, Team Green? What will you do? You did infect the water, Team Blue. Way to go. You guys are pretty awesome. Kitty. Red, you're on deck, by the way, so... Gavin Hill... Okay, Gavin. I will add Gavin to the call. If, if you really, guys really want me to call someone, I will enter Gavin in. I think he's streaming after I am, so... There. If you want Gavin, there you go. Enter. Sure thing, boss. Enter. D a approved. Enter approved. Okay. Says Team Green. But you're Team Red, Gavin. You oh, can't... sorry. <laughs> you lie down a pint, uh, drinking as your life depended on it. You end up blacking out. When you come to, you find yourself in a home you don't recognize. In only your underwear. Your clothes are nowhere to be found, and you seem to be the only one home. What happened? All right, Gavin, it is now Team Red's turn. You are also a member of Team Red. And uh, Tostris apparently wants to steal. Do you, are you on board with that, Gavin? I agree with that. Let's steal. All right. You spend the entire week performing petty theft. You gain one wealth and two finesse. One day, you notice a man drawing water from a well. Suddenly, leeches begin pouring out of the well and cover the man from head to toe. They start making their way towards you, too. What do you do? Do you want to blast them with magic or lure the leeches back into the well, Gavin? Blast those suckers! Okay. Sure. You wave your hand, unleashing a wave of magic to disintegrate the leeches. Your magic ability isn't what you thought it was. Your spell fizzles out before it even reaches the leeches. The leeches swarm all over you. You are subject to vicious series of bites before the leeches get bored and take off. You lose two physique. Aww. You look over to where the man was. Nothing is left but a pile of bones. Well, at least you were a little more lucky than that. Tostris? Oh, right. To you have a teammate. Hmm. Tostris, you can uh, select the next action. How about that? All right. We're going, uh... Guess the Skype call. Always the American gets the Skype call. <laughs> anyway, I am Team Yellow. I'm going to go... to the forest. And I want to hunt. Die, defenseless critters. Do I have a crossbow? That's pretty awesome. Spend the week hunting defenseless critters. I gain two finesse and sell the pelts for one wealth. One day during my forest excursions, I stumble upon a swarm of rats. Oh god, this again. And they're conversing with another each other. I'm not going to bother reading my own event. Because my voice is kind of dead at this point, and I can't make my rat voice. Sorry, guys. Excuse me, it's sir, okay. one of them says it's in the okay high-pitched voice. So. Do you think you might be able to help us out with something? Yes. You see, we are trying to elect a new leader, but it seems the votes are completely tied. We're trying to stream team Pete Paul, blah, blah, blah. And uh, Speed 4, of course, the guy who wants to kill everyone. And Blight Tooth is the guy that is apparently wanting to lead to the Age of Enlightenment? I'm going to choose Speed Paul. Yeah! And he's going to give me some awesome stuff. One finesse and one physique. All right, Team Blue, you're on deck. They say the last it came, the Yong devoured houses whole, stole lies, tore families and family members apart. But that was so very long ago. All right, Team Blue, what do you want to do? Looks like uh, Eljoy Yojo was trying to do something. I don't know. Oh, Kitty wants to leave. Bye, Kitty. Your all right. Your kitties are cute. Yeah, my kitty is very cute. I mean all of them. Well, yeah. Obviously. Regardless, 
I don't have your Skypes, nor do I want them, so let's just go to the Alchemy Tower and brew a potion. I think that's what they wanted to do. They spend a week experimenting with different potion brews. You get two magic and one mind. One day you hear the alchemist shout, Eureka! When you look over to see what he's done, you spot a small, previously dead ferret come to life. I figured out the antidote to death, the alchemist exclaims. The undead ferret lets out a horrific noise and lumbers about slowly. Do you want to destroy the abomination or praise the alchemist's accomplishments? <coughs> Excuse me. What do you think, Team Blue? Which I think is just one person at this point. I think I have you. I think you have you blocked on Skype, actually, Fulham. I think I think you're blocked. Fairly certain. Because you uh, kept calling me, I think one day. So I stopped. I just blocked you. Regardless, Team Blue, you need to do this. And it looks like Team Green wants to go to the forest, which is fine by me. What do they want to do in the forest? Did they say? Anyway. Praise him, you got it. That's amazing, you say, slightly discomforted by the ferret's presence. You didn't hurt the alchemist's feelings, though. You gained one charm. Anyway, Team Green wants to go to the forest. What do you want to do in the forest, Team Green? Do you want to chop down wood or hunt? Plus, I'm not blocked. How do you know? Regardless, Team Green, you can chop wood or hunt. Which do you want to do? I don't even know. Do I have Fulham on Skype? I don't even know. I have him. Uh, search Fulham. Fulham is not in my contacts. He might be blocked. Oh well. He has a weird name on on my Skype. Okay, you can add him to the call if he really wants to be. All right, chopping wood or hunting, Team Green. Let's uh, keep this game moving, shall we? Hold on, let me find him. There you go. Chop down wood. Okay. You spend the week cutting down trees for the village. Oops. Oh, Lord. Chamadir. Okay. Whatever. That's him. You gain two physique and earn yourself one wealth. One day you come across a group of people in the woods. From the expressions on their faces, they appear to be lost. Do you want to rob them or help them out? Hello, Fulham. Fulham is here or no? I guess not. What? Steal again, says Red. No Fulham plocks. Apparently Gavin had it on Skype and... He's nothing but static right now. Whatever, Team Green, I, do you want to rob or help? I just heard Fulham for a quick second. I did not. I kind of heard him. Kind of. I think and, he's I, just... and my uh, Breloom uh, evolved. Very happy. Yay, now I got a fighting type. Team Green. Team Green. The stream delay cannot be that bad. Help them? Okay. You come, uh, conf uh, front the group and try to get, uh, help them on their way back to town. Can't seem to figure out where you are and leave the group around in circles for hours. One of them asked you how you managed to find your way home at night. You don't actually know. Well, Team Green, that was kind of fail-tacular. Also, I'm totally going to disconnect Fulham from this call because he's nothing but static. So, oops, I just disconnected everyone from the call. That's probably better off that way. Whatever. Um, regardless. Team Red, it's your turn. Oh, man. This was a terrible idea. Whoever wanted to this... Whoever wanted this idea... There. There we Gavin, go. Gavin, you can come back. Fulham, not so much. Um, Red. What do you want to do, Team Red? I let Tostris decide the next one, I think. Okay. Tostris, you can decide this whole turn for Team Red. How about that? Because it was coming from your end, Fulham. Skype has that feature. The delay is that bad. Is it really? The delay... <laughs> the delay is fine for me. It's only like about 20 seconds. Whatever. Did you read Steel again? No, I didn't, so fine. Spend the entire week performing petty theft. You get one wealth and two finesse. One day, a swarm of rats floods the streets. People flee in mad panic. What do you do? Well, do you want to run like mad, or do you want to blast them with magic, Team Red? I think the last time you guys tried to blast something with magic, it didn't work out. First, the leeches invade the slums, and now... It's the rat's turn to invade the slums. Tostris, I assume you want to run away like you did last time. But, uh, I guess if you really want to try the Gavin method of blasting things with your 5 magic skill, that could work as well. You join a crowd of people fleeing the scene. You manage to escape, but there are still rats all over the slums. Well, that's great. Who cares? My turn. I'm going to go to the ga uh, gardens, and I'm going to meditate. Spend the week in deep meditation. I get one magic and two mind. 
One day I spot a man drinking from a, uh, water from the pond. Suddenly he screams. You look over to find him covered in leeches. What do I do? Let's see, I don't really have a lot of magic, but I'm gonna get the hell out of here. I'll make a break for it and get to safety. Dear Lord, these leech and rat invaders. You go, uh, by the well later and in the night to find a pile of bones. Anyway, it was honest in a heartbeat, or so the stories go. The earth shook and the air went still. <coughs> yeah, Fulham, the, the static started when you joined the call, so I'm 99% sure the static was you. Anyway, it is Blue's turn. Tower and brew some more potions. Okay. You spend the week experimenting with different potion brews. You get two magic and one mind. One day while in the tower, one of the alchemists asks you to watch his potion while he's out. Some uh, Soon after he leaves, the potion begins bubbling out of control. If you want to do something about it soon, or it'll explode. Uh, do you want to throw it out the window, uh, Iju Yo-Yo, or drink it? Or anyone else on Team Blue? Yeah, I got cut. You got cut? I just uh, beat Jake in the desert. Fascinating. I'm glad you're paying so much attention to my stream, Gavin. It's it's okay. Gavin. I'm I'm still uh, paying attention to it. I'm just playing Zeta at the moment. Okay. All right, Team Blue. What do you want to do about this? Drink it. All right. You quickly drink the potion. Your stomach can't seem to handle the potion. Fire erupts from your esophagus, and uh, for a second, solid minute, you're shooting out a jet of fire from between your lips. That burns. You lose two physique. Well, you're down to one physique. You Ouch. get one mind, though, because apparently it's a learning experience. Don't drink a bubbling potion. All right. It looks like Team Green wants to go to the arena. What do you guys want to do in the arena? Do you want to compete in the fight or uh, bet on the fight, Team Green? Whoever Team is... Green. Team Green. Lawrence wants to be added on Skype. I don't even know if I have Lawrence on Skype. I do have Lauritis, but... Uh, uh, okay, add Lawrence. Why not? And he always praises Squidward, but anyway, he's awesome, he's awesome like that. There he is. I swear to God, if you say one thing about Squidward, I probably should wait for him to be in the call. <laughs> just, I, I, I'm, I'm booting him from the call if he says one thing. Anyway, competing in the fight or betting on the fight? What do you guys want to do, Team Green? Dear Lord, we need to get this game rolling, guys. And Gavin, your team is next, so... Oh, okay. I guess you can decide where to go, and I'll let whoever else is on Team Red decide the event. Uh, oh, look! Forest. He's already praising Squidward in the chat, so naturally... Forest, arena, what we're going to do is just disconnect on... Oh, shit. I just disconnected on everyone again. I'm really bad at this, guys. Regardless. Whatever. Anyway. Team, oh, it, okay. So, Rick says he wants to fight. You spend a week fighting brutes in the arena. You get two physique and one finesse. During a match, another warrior's weapon is knocked from their grasp. You barely manage to avoid it. With a sickening crunch, it destroys the knee of a nearby bystander. He accuses you of cheating by causing him harm uh, by not... Uh, he causes you... Well, he accuses you of causing him harm by not stopping the flying weapon. He takes you to court. Do you want to offer to settle, Team Green, or defend yourself in court? Which shall it be? Team Green. Yes. Be careful, Gavin is scolding you, Team Green. I'm calling you out, Team Green. Apparently. Oh lord. No one is talking. Team Red, you're on deck too. By the way, where do you want to go, Gavin, on your next turn? Let's get that out of the way. I wanted to go to the hospital to attend the patients. Okay, Team Green, you have three seconds. Dear Lord, settle, okay. No amount of coin convinces the unreasonable man to settle. The trial does not go well, and you're sentenced to perform community service. Performing hard labor, you get one physique and one finesse. Unfortunately, the uh, boring task could toll on you mentally. You lose one mind. What did you say, uh, Gavin? I hope that the uh, hospital's not destroyed. It's not. You can clean up or tend to the patients. Attend? All right, you spend the week diagnosing and tending to the sick. You get two mind and earn one wealth. One day, you hear spooky sounds echoing throughout the hospital. Soon afterwards, a glowing blue ghost floats down from the ceiling. She seems to be wandering the halls aimlessly, howling out horrible noises. She doesn't appear to realize she's freaking everyone the F out. You decide to do something about it. All right, Tostris or anyone else on Team Red, you have about 30 seconds. You can uh, talk calmly to the ghost or vaporize the ghost with magic. Delicious, delicious magic. 
Does it seriously say freak the F out on uh, the Yogg? No, it doesn't. <laughs> that would be awesome if it well, did. Well, there's a little improv that I add usually to that event. I might get the Yogg on Steam. All right. It's a pretty, I mean, it's pretty cheap. It's like five bucks. I need to get Steam first. Oh, well, yeah, you probably need that. All right, you approach the spirit and try to explain the effect that she's having on the sick. You're not convincing enough to be able to persuade her to stop haunting. Eventually, everyone gets used to her and learns to live with the creepy ghost. Your mental resolve hardens. You gain one mind. Okay, that worked out okay. I'm going to go back to the gardens and meditate. I'm going to be the best damn meditator ever. I get one meditate magic and two mind. One day, I see, come across an elderly man snoozing on the grass. You there, young person. He waves me over. I'm having an awful time trying to nap in the bright sun. Do you mind giving me some shade? Sure, why not? And uh, apparently ages seem to pass as I stand in the sun, and uh, the wizening old man sleeping peacefully. The sun is sweltering, and uh, for some hours you begin to feel faint. Gradually everything grows dark, but when I wake, though, apparently there's an ancient tree there instead. For witnessing this miraculous event, I gained one magic. Oh boy. And then the world was a howling fury. Chaos. Screaming. The sound of all we knew being pulled in half. Tower for more potions. All right. Team Blue, you spend the week experimenting with different potion brews. You get two magic and one mind. One day, an artificer stops for a visit. She's adorned with magical gadgets and gizmos, and is followed everywhere by her clockwork spider. The Alchemists all try to impress her, offering an array of magical potions. As she's leaving, she adorns the most charming of the Alchemists with a special trinket. The fact she didn't choose you was very humbling. You gain one charm. All right, Team Green, you're on, and uh, Team Red, you're on deck, so Tostris, you can uh, think about what you want to do. All right, the stupid delay, I enter a choice as soon as the option comes up. Oh. Huh. I know what you mean, Rexixu. But uh, you can actually pick ahead of time, like when it's the team in front of you's turn. You can think about and, and type in the chat what you guys want to do, because obviously that'll at least save some time while we're waiting for, obviously, your choices. Oh, right, you guys want to go to the forest. Do you want to chop wood or do you want to hunt? Nobody wants me on Skype. Well, Lars, you didn't even answer when we did call you, so there's that. Yeah, you freaking talk about Squidward, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, kind of annoying, says Gavin. Which, we're in serious business here. Oh, yeah, this is serious, serious business. Oh, and man. I'm fighting a Weavile. A Weavile? Level 20. Level 20? Team Dear Asgard. Lord. Team Asgard. It's not the Yogg, though. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you spend a week cutting down trees for the village. You get two physique and earn yourself one wealth. One day, you stumble upon a dryad picking flowers in a field. Upon noticing you, she runs up to you excitedly. Excuse me, sir, would you like to dance, she asks. I've been waiting to dance for so long, but no one has been around to dance with, she sighs. Yeah, this is the final game, Omega Blaziken. Also, hi. Well, what's up? You're on Team Red, because you're pink. So, you can help Tostris. You guys are on deck, so... You guys can decide what you want to do. Skype lied to you? I'm sorry. Anyway, Team Green, do you want to dance, or do you not want to dance? With the magical dryad of the forest. She has been waiting so long for someone to dance with. Apparently. I'm just going to keep going up and down until someone in Team Green says something. <laughs> Alright, she giggles and takes you by the hand. She starts humming out a song, and the two of you dance together in the middle of the forest. You actually dump on her toes several times while dancing, and after the third time, she stops you. She thanks you for the dance and limps off into the night. You da practice dancing a little bit, though. You get one finesse. Okay. Team Red, it's all you. Tostris, Omega Blaziken... Neither of you have decided where you want to go, and I've been telling you guys you've been on deck. The arena, the gardens, the palace, the tavern, the hospital, the slums. I might just have Gavin choose for Team Red. I didn't, you know? Jeez, Lawrence. Dear Lord. We're waiting for Team Red, again. To do something, anything, really. Read it. Read what? Oh, oh, Tostris, okay. You did say something. I just missed it. My bad. Cutting down the ledges. Landscape. My bad. 
You spend a week maintaining the plants in the royal garden. You get one finesse, one physique, and earn yourself one wealth. One day on your way home from the park, you come across a golden ring in the grass. Do you want to sell the ring, or do you want to wear the ring? Gavin, you can choose this one since uh, Tostrich decided. Sell or wear what? the ring? Uh, wear the ring, I guess. Upon placing the ring on your finger, orange glowing marks appear on the outside of the band. The markings unravel themselves and uh, from the ring and swirl in front of you. They form what appears to be a fully armored ghost, radiating a beautiful orange light. The ghost turns to you and nods before walking away. The ring looks good on you, though. You gained one charm. Well, large, you just keep commenting about why you're not on Skype, and you're not even participating in the game. Regardless. Team Yellow, that's me. I'm going to go to the palace. I'm going to do administration work. So, yeah. Two wells and one mind. One day, I decided to lean up against the wall. Just take a break. I found the... Apparently, the king's famous wine cellar. I'm going to keep quiet about what I saw. Just knowing that there is a secret here makes me excited. One charm and one mind. Alright, Team Blue. It's all you again. When it arrives this time, how will we fare? Will we once more rebuild, move on, be strong, or have we forgotten? Oh, man. Alright, you spend a week experimenting with different potion brews again. You get two magic and one mind. One day you hear cries of help coming from the next room. Running over to investigate, you see that the alchemists have accidentally created an ooze monster. How will you dispatch of the ooze? Do you want to punch it the ooze into submission with your one physique? Or do you want to blast the ooze with your 13 match? I know, it's a hard choice. But do you want to punch or uh, magicify it? And also, what is this? Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that? That is an inappropriate link. Anyway. Let me see that. Mazabaiza. If Olam was muted, how could you... Oh, I was getting static from his end. So, that's all I'm saying. Regardless, punch the ooze into submission or blast the ooze with magic. Punch, obviously, Team Blue. Clearly, that's what you want to do. Clearly. You're number one when it comes to physique. Or is it just one? I, I don't know. Oh, okay, you're gonna blast the heck out of it. You pulverize the ooze into a puddle with your array of magical skills, the alchemists all cheer, and you gain one charm. Well done. Team Green, it's up to you again. Your turn. <sighs> Regardless, Team Green, it is your turn, and none of you have even discussed what you want to do. Arena? I'm just gonna go with that, Risixu. Do you want to compete in the fight or bet? What will you do in the arena? Arena time! Fulham, you're kinda late there. Probably would've done it if, uh... I saw you before Rasixu. Tostris wants to get wrecked in the tavern, though. Sounds good, Tostris. Too bad you're not on Team Green, but I will let Team Red do that, for sure. Alright, Team Green. Compete or bet. Compete or bet. Very tough choice here for Team Green. It takes them a while to even... Alright, they spend a week placing bets on their favorite fighters. They get zero wealth. Wow, you suck at betting, Team Green. Uh, one day in the middle of the match, a dryad runs onto the field. Would anyone like to dance, she appears to be asking. Boos and hisses are up from the crowd. Before you can even react, one of the fighters has already cleaved the dryad end too. A terrible shriek booms from her wound. The crowd erupts into applause. A dryad's corpse then explodes into a flurry of leaves that cuts everyone nearby. You lose one physique. Well done, Team Green. Wait, who was even the one that failed to dance with her? I don't even remember, but, uh... The Dryad is dead now. Are you even useful? I don't even know, Lartz. Anyway, it looks like Team Green... or Team Red wants to go drinking. Spend the entire week getting wasted. You get two charm and one physique. One day, a tall, dark stranger walks into the bar. Everyone goes silent. Word round these parts, our folks are having a bit of rat troubles, he says. Wait, I've never seen this event before. Thank God. I'm a magic piper. I'll be glad to get rid of them. But it'll cost you. Do you want to try to uh, raise the funds to pay, Gavin, or ignore him? Since you are a member of Team Red. Ignore that bastard. Really? You don't want him to get rid of the rats? Psych. I'll ju just get rid of it. Okay. You try to start a fundraising campaign to raise the money to get rid of the pests. You go door to door trying to convince people to donate. Unfortunately, you do a poor job of it and raise next to nothing. Oh, never mind then. No money, no services, the piper exclaims. He pulls out a flute, uh, blows a small tune, and vanishes. Well then, what a dick. 
Whatever, we're going to just meditate here, contemplate our failure to get rid of the rats and the leeches. I gained one magic and one mind. Sorry, two magic. No, one magic and two mind. That's what I got. We saw back on this first second run. Oh, did we? I just forgot then, Culp. Walking in that past a pond one day, I see a fat little frog sitting on a lily pad. Please, sir, the frog begs. I'm not a frog at all, but an enchanted prince. Here's your way to kissing me. I could break it the spell. Huh. Yeah, I guess I'll kiss you. The frog yeah. is enveloped in a cloud of shimmering fog. When the fog clears, the fog is g uh, gone, and a regal man is uh, standing in the pond instead. He thanks you for helping me, him, and gives you a handsome reward. Apparently you don't need to be a princess to kiss magical frogs. I get two wealth, and my reputation improves as I get one charm. Heck yeah. Too bad Kermit wasn't there. Too bad. Anyway, the Yogg, the Yogg is almost here. Almost, almost. Looks like Team Blue wants to meditate about their condition with their final turn. So I'm going to let them do that. Uh, Team Blue, you spend the week in deep meditation. You gain one magic and two mind. One day, a toothless old woman approaches you. I have a small pouch of magic beans. Would you like be interested in purchasing them? Are you interested in purchasing the magic beans, Team Blue, or uh, do you say no thanks? You have one well, so it will cost you all of your money. Looks like Fulham wants to go get wrecked, and Rasiksu is okay with that. Sounds like a plan, Team Green. Tostris wants to steal. Are you on board with that, Gavin? I agree with that. He agrees. Alright, so Team Red's going to steal. I have no idea what I'm going to do, though. Still waiting on Team Blue, whether to uh, pay or not for the magic beans. What say you, Team Blue? What say you? Alright, you spend one wealth on the beans. Later you decide to plant them in a small, rarely visited part of the garden. Okay. Even though the is almost here, but I don't think that event will even go anywhere because we don't have a week left. Whatever, Team Green said they wanted to go to the tavern and get wrecked. They spend the entire week getting wasted. You get two charm and one physique. The very first day of the week when you uh, walk through the tavern doors, everyone cheers. Apparently during your last drunken outing, you were a party animal while you were blacked out. Legend spreads of your party, hard spirit. You get two charm. Well, there you go. Finally, Team Red wanted to go steal in the slimes. Or the slums, not the slimes. <laughs> the slimes. You spend the week performing petty theft. I'll make plenty sell feel good potions. Okay. Get two one, one wealth and two finesse. One night, a woman walks up to you. Excuse me, miss. Feeling a little lonely tonight, she asks. For only a small amount of coin, I can make you feel good all night. What about it, Gavin? Do you want to hire a hooker? I guess so. All right, Gavin says he guesses so. You hand the hooker a small sack of coins, you lose two wealth. On your way to the house, you start talking about philosophy, history, magic, everything, really. The two of you have an amazing conversation that goes well into the morning. You get two mind and two charm. The woman apologizes for the lack of sex, but thanks you for the chat. She refunds you Good half man. of what you spent. You gain one wealth. Well, there you go. Jeez. There it is. This game's violent. Violent? Wait, what? No, I mean it's, it's sexist. I don't know. I mean, you're a woman, so it's was, it was gonna be lesbian sex if it makes you feel better. Awesome! Now I'm gonna go to the alchemy tower and clean the lab. I get one wealth and uh, one music and magic. One day all the alchemists decide to take a break and throw a cantrip party. Now Alchemist waves his hand and produces confetti in front of him. Another spawns seemingly endless number of dubs from his sleeves. Then all the alchemists turn to me. Well, let's do a complex trick. I bring a chair to life. I sit about it and run around the room. Everyone is quite impressed and I get two more charm. Anyway, the storm arrives in the night. By the morning, it still rages. For three full days, the tempest puts us through the grinder. Drowns us, crushes us, ruins us. But in the end, we see the graveyard our home has become. Our home. Does anything yet live? Is it? Are we? Past saving. Looks like Team Green wants to be the leaders. But, uh... Team Blue, you have the first choice. Do you want to be the leader, the builder, the conjurer, the doctor, the smelter, the tailor, the looter, or the town drunk? You have one physique, five finesse, fourteen mind, eight charm, fourteen magic, and zero wealth. What do you think your job should be, Team Blue? How will you help the New World Order? This is the last decision in the game, and it's yours to make. Uh, what is it? Ejo Yojo, and I'm probably butchering that name. But, uh, yeah, which one will you be? Tostris wants to be a tailor. Are you on board with that team, uh, Gavin? Yep, a tailor. All right. Team Red wants to be a tailor. Team Green wants to be a leader. 
Lawrence is apparently rebelling against his team and wants them to have the worst ending. The Conjurer? All right. You take it upon yourself to help conjure supplies through the town. With your magic, you summon supplies of the highest caliber. With little effort, you're summoning high-quality lumber and food from out of nowhere. This helps with the rebuilding effort significantly. Maza Maza, you are not on Team Blue. But nice try. Anyway, uh, Green wants to be the leader. You pick it upon yourself to be the leader of the survivors. Your reputation allows you to leave the survivors relative ease. You're not the brightest, however and aren't terribly efficient with organizing everyone else. Still having a charismatic leader helps the rebuilding effort a little bit. I think you just cost us the good ending, Team Green. Way to go. Team Red, on the other hand, wants to be a tailor. You volunteer to weave and mend clothing for the survivors to help keep warm. You make and mend clothing faster than anyone would have ever expected, but you tire quickly. If only you had more stamina, you'd be the best tailor anyone's ever seen. Regardless, you manage to uh, make a new set of clothing for every survivor. Morale increases, and everyone is pretty excited about new co uh, socks, scarves, hats, etc. This helps the survival effort a lot. Finally, it's my turn. I have a lot of mind and magic, but I guess I'll be the doctor. I take it upon myself to help the sick and injured from the yog. I'm able to fix up most of the patients in no time at all. This means there are more people to help rebuild the town. This helps the survival effort considerably. Awesome sauce. And so we set about our task, once more living our lives, this time in a way we might never have expected, or even wanted. But in the end... It was a struggle, so we got the medium ending again. But it was a struggle we never abandoned. Though our home had been stripped apart, we did not let it languish. And whether we succeed or fail, we did our best. Who knows if the Yogg will ever visit us again? Who knows if we can ever be... We'll ever be... Ready for it. And that has been the Yogg. Let us see how each team fares post Yogg. Regardless, Team Blue, your ending... While the town is being rebuilt, you spend more and more time in the Alchemy Tower. Your potion brewing abilities quickly become among the best in the world. Your health and mana potions are considered world-class delicacies, and with people venturing far and wide to buy them. But you never learn how to brew a love potion, so apparently... You really want a love potion, Team Blue. It just doesn't work out for you. Oh well. The Yogg traumatized you deeply, Team Green. Despite everything being okay now, something in you snapped. Oh, Lord. Lawrence, you got what you wanted. Team Green is getting a bad ending. Maybe he was witnessing a baby floating face down in the water. Maybe it's when he found a man skewered on the fence, still squirming slightly. His eyes an empty void. Perhaps it's when he saw a group of kids that were trapped in the school who were resorted to eating their rotting teacher's corpse. Whatever it was, you can't help but drink. You drink so much, you're not entirely sure what is real and what is an illusion. One day, you look upon the mirror and your eyes are empty. Hollow. Well, you went insane, Team Green. With the town being rebuilt, Team Red, you take off to the forest to pursue your true calling. You and your gang of merry fellows ambush nobles traveling in the woods, demanding money for the poor. Your group becomes local heroes those living in the slums. Your legend is sung in the taverns all across the land. Well done, Team Red. And finally, Team Me. While in the town being rebuilt, I become a leader of a hunting party. I quickly become the town's main supplier of game, meat, and furs. I become extremely adept at killing defenseless animals. One day, I spot a glowing blue fox in the woods. Upon seeing you, it cackles and runs off. I pursue it for feels like hours to no avail. Capturing the laughing blue fox becomes an obsession for me. I spend every waking moment thinking about his laugh, even while I sleep. The cackle feels like it's burned into my brain. I went hunting like one time. Jeez, why did I get that ending? Whatever. Regardless, that has been the Yogg, and that has been the stream. I am going to take off now. I am pretty tired, and my voice is killing me. I might be able to stream uh, later today, too. Okay, well, if you want to check out Fulham, uh, you can check out Fulham. Anyway, that has been the Yogg, and uh, thanks, guys, for watching, and I will now disembark. Hey, not so bad ending. Eh, not a bad ending. More neutral than anything. I still, still became a leader of a hunting party. Hey, and guys, don't make fun of Nacho. He's a boss. Thanks, Gavin. All right.